Not so long ago, a typical Buick buyer was the sort of oldster likely to bend your ear about what it was like to grow up in the golden age of radio. Today, Buick is successfully targeting a generation whose members don't even remember life before the internet. In the seven years leading into 2013 a short time in the car industry, just a single product cycle the Buick customer's average age dropped from 64 to 59. But this is not a complete reversal of fortune, Buick still sells plenty of plush sedans to the there is no such thing as a free lunch crowd even as it pushes potato shaped crossovers on those who believe that information wants to be free. Which is why the completely redesigned Buick Law Cross is actually two very different cars at once. The Buick of yesterday. The first is the standard Law Cross, a large, five passenger sedan with an ample back seat. A base model starts at just $32,990, a throwback to the black and white era. The Law Cross is available only in those two non-colors without paying an upcharge and is mostly devoid of premium content toward options. Kudos to the marketing team for calling out its seatback map pockets in the online configurator, which has us wondering, do those who still use paper maps also use online configurators? An extra $4,000 for preferred trim nets you, a hem, a cargo net, a power adjustable steering column, satellite radio, and shinier wheels but not the ability to have your law cross with even the most remedial luxury amenities. Leather upholstery and heated seats are restricted to the next higher trim level, the $39,590 essence, as are the optional sunroof and the blind spot and rear cross traffic alerts. More advanced sensor-based safety equipment such as adaptive cruise control and automated braking are $1,690 option available only on the top premium trim at $41,990. If you want the nice Buick, you're not going to get it for the nice price. The Buick of tomorrow. But even all La Cross premium needs some help to become that second, better La Cross that we prefer. This comes by fitting a $1,625 package that includes 20-inch wheels and tires, an adaptive suspension, and GMS Hyper Strut front suspension. This package is also available on the Essence model. Order the 20s and you turn the geriatric Buick into the La Cross of the future, a smooth riding, nice handling machine that isn't he afraid of twisty roads. If you prefer Jimmy Fallon to Johnny Carson, this is the La Cross for you. We cannot overstate the improvement in handling of the car with the larger wheels and revised suspension. The handling of the Buick that floats along on 235-50R18 tires might be best described as effortless. Its steering is extremely light, which makes the car feel imprecise, and the softness of the suspension though s and help. Buick uses a multi-link rear suspension in all La Crosse models and the structure feels stiff, but the standard tuning allows lots of up and down body motion. The Hyper Strut suspension with 20-inch wheels shod with 245-40R20 tires creates a wholly different experience, especially when the driver pushes the sport button on the dash, firming up the suspension and switching to a totter steering program. Body control improved enough that we were able to remove the C-bands that Buick had so generously provided for our drive. Buick also offers an all-wheel drive model, but only with premium trim at a substantial $2,200 price increase. We did not have the opportunity to drive that car, although we were anxious to experience the changes to the Long Cross S on road behavior brought on by its to work vectoring rear axle that is similar to the setup used in the Cadillac XT5 crossover. Single 6. All Long Cross variants are powered by the same 3.6 liter V6, making 310 horsepower and 282 pounds to foot of torque. The 6S output is well matched to the 3,700 pound car, with the 8 speed automatic transaxle going about its business almost imperceptibly. Sometimes too much so, as there is no separate shift programming when in sport mode, although changing gears via the standard steering wheel mounted paddles somewhat ameliorates this need. The V6 design features direct injection, auto stop, start, and active fuel management, which lets the engine switch seamlessly into four-cylinder mode to save fuel. 
these improvements and a claim 300 pound weight reduction from last year's lacrosse yield a 3 mile per gallon improvement in the EPA combined estimate, which is now 25 miles per gallon. The powertrain also features a new shifter, shared with the XT5 and promised to soon proliferate throughout the General Motors portfolio. Like other car makers, GM has reinvented the decades old PR and DL pattern because electronics that banish the physical linkage between the shifter and the transmission allow it to do so. Putting the lacrosse into drive requires the lever to be pulled back with an accompanying side button press, while reverse involves a push up through neutral and to the left. Park has its own button. Adopting such a design is a curious choice, one likely to challenge old and young alike and especially those driving the vehicle for the first time. See Chrysler S Bose with a similar shifter design and let the confusion and low speed crashes commence. Inside and out. We have no complaints, however, with Buick adopting the de facto standard for infotainment, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard equipment. An 8.0-inch frameless touchscreen dominates the dashboard and runs the smartphone system alongside a version of GMS modern corporate infotainment software. This is a marked improvement over the older system with seas of inscrutable buttons and tiny, low-resolution screens that still plagues some Buicks. The rest of the interior, too, is hugely improved from the last-generation Lacrosse with much nicer materials including more soft touch surfaces and real wood on pricier models. It has the outside of the car, however, that is likely to capture the most attention. With the 2.7-inch wheelbase stretch and a 1.6-inch lower roofline, the LaCrosse looks longer and lower even as it maintains its overall length, 197.5 inches. It has a good-looking car not great, but undeniably more elegant than its arch-rival Lexus S, scarred as that car is with its aggressive and, some might say, inappropriate grille. The LaCrosse, by contrast, is nothing if not fancy. Chrome is served up in abundance, including a horizontal wing on its own new grille, flanking the Buick Tri-Shield badge. In a nod to Buick S heritage, the red, white, and blue colors have been restored to the traditional badge. It has a perfect illustration of the brand's refusal to abandon its longtime customers while it courts their children and grandchildren with credible products like this much improved lacrosse. Lacrosse.